in today's video what we'll be doing is that we'll be mounting the hard disk that we have to a specific location on the raspberry pi by default the pi mounts the hard disk but it mounts it to a certain point where there are some permissions issues and then when we make projects the hard disks are not detected by those projects so in this video we'll be seeing to it that after every reboot how to ensure that the pi is mounted to that new point that we created so let us start this is a, a medium that i have uh, inserted the name of the thing is new volume i have inserted my hard drive into it so let's get started so let's hit the first command that is lsblk to check the current mount point so by default as you can see it is getting mounted to slash media slash pi directory so and this is the name of the hard drive so now what we need to do is that we need to get the uu id of the hard drive which is unique for every hard disk so for doing that there is this command sudo blk id and hit on enter so we'll get the uu id of the hard disk so we'll just copy the uu id and also remember that you have to check the type so it is ntfs for you all it might be anything it may be ext4 or fat32 or anything but for me it is ntfs so just remember that thing also no need to copy you just need to copy the uu id and also check the name of the hard disk not the label i mean the name by name is this slash dev slash sta1 so now we need to unmount the hard drive for doing this we have the command sudo u mount slash dev slash sd1 the name that we got over here so as you can see the sign disappeared this signifies that we have successfully unmounted so now let us create a directory where we want to mount the hard disk so i will name the directory pi disk and hit on enter so that directory is made so now when i hit a slash before what does it mean so there is this two two directories we have the slash directory when i enter a slash before the name so a thing a folder is created in this slash directory but now if i don't enter any slash or anything it will be created in the current directory that is usually slash home slash pi so now we once we have created this slash thing so now let us mount our hard disk to that slash directory so for doing that we have to use sudo mount and slash dev slash sd1 the name of the hard drive so that and then we have to enter the location so that was pi disk and hit on enter so it will mount it now so let us go to cd slash pi disk and check the contents and ls so as you can see i had some disk images some movies and my youtube backup was there so that all is there on my hard drive so it's showing up successfully which means that we have mounted so now let us go get out of this folder <laughs> get out of this folder so for doing that we have the command cd dot space dot dot so once we have done that let's clear up the thing the terminal so now we have to edit this file in the etc directory known as fs tab so to so so that we can ensure that it is mounted to the new point so for doing that enter the command sudo nano we'll be using nano to edit the file in the terminal itself by doing in sudo nano slash etc slash fs tab and hit on enter so now you'll get this screen and we have to add a new line over here by hitting on enter now here you have to enter the uu id by typing in uuid equal to and you have to paste the uuid now by here we have to specify the mount point so that it will be the directory that we created it is pi disk for me for it y'all it might be anything and ensure that the slashes that you insert are correct if, if it was in slash home slash pi directory don't put any slash if it was in slash directory like me then have a slash before now we have to enter the type as i told y'all to check it when we did that blkid command so enter that type now we have to give some things to it like default, defaults, auto, then users is there and then it is also rw is there for read write permission. Also we have to add no fail. These are certain things to ensure that the hard disk is mounted properly at boot. So these things should be there and then also we have to give it u mask. If it is u mask should be there only if it is a NTFS or FAT system. So remember if you don't have NTFS or FAT, don't enter this UMAS thing that I'm doing now. So just you have to, if you have NTFS and uh, FAT32 or FAT, then you have to enter UMAS is equal to triple zero and then again give it some permissions by typing in double zero. So this double zero is compulsory for all so, and for NTFS and FAT users only UMAS is an addition. After no fail you have to add this comma UMAS is equal to zero zero for NTFS and FAT users else everything will be common for everyone so i will leave the things in the description exactly for fat and ntfs users and below it will be for all users so i'll be doing that for y'all so that the confusion is gone so now control o i repeat control o to save hit on enter 
and then control X out of here. So we have successfully saved it everything. So now reboot from the thing. So for doing that we have the command sudo reboot to reboot from the terminal and hit on enter. So after we reboot now then we will have the hard disk mounted to the new point that we specified instead of the default point. So let us see that now. Till then I would like to inform you that this new series I am starting on pi hacks known as pi hacks I will be creating a new playlist in which I will tell you all in 5 to 7 minutes how to resolve certain errors or do some simple things like we did today like mounting the hard disk then there was this earlier video on setting up the static IP to the Raspberry Pi so these easy things will be doing in this new series that I will be starting so stay tuned so now let us see if the Pi has successfully rebooted as you can see we have successfully rebooted into the Pi now let us open up the terminal and then use the command sudo lsblk to check the thing so as you can see we have successfully mounted it to the new mount point that is slash pi disk so now we have done it successfully so thank you friends do like share subscribe and don't forget to hit on the bell icon to stay tuned to my updates thank you